Good morning, Christ Church, uh, and Merry Christmas to everyone, um, wherever you may be, wherever you're celebrating this morning or this afternoon or um, whenever you're watching this. Um, Merry Christmas, and I hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, I hope you feel joy this morning. I hope you feel love um, and surrounded by love and know that you are so loved uh, by your church uh, here, uh, and we just wish you all, all the best um, this morning and always. Uh, but what a what a joyous time, what a joyous morning it is. Hope you're able um, to either be in person at our Christmas Eve services the last couple of days, or able to um, watch online or catch one of our services um, that are going to be happening here this morning as well, still at the church. Um, but Merry Christmas, and like I said, I hope you're surrounded with joy and love. Um, this day. <clears throat> and I'm so happy that you're joining me for morning prayer still um, here this morning. Uh, it says we get the day started on a really, really good note. Uh, so uh, as usual for morning prayer, we're going to be in our books of common prayer, um, and we'll be starting on page 80. So page 80. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And at the bottom of page 80, Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. And then turning to page 82, we will say the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. And now we'll say our appointed psalms for the morning. So for Christmas Day, uh, for Christmas morning here, um, we have two psalms. Our first psalm, if I can find it, is Psalm 2. And if you're using your Book of Common Prayer... Psalm 2 um, starts on page 586. So 586, Psalm 2. Why are the nations in an uproar? Why do the people mutter empty threats? Why do the kings of the earth rise up in revolt and the princes plot together against the Lord and against his anointed? Let us break their yoke, they say. Let us cast off their bonds from us. He whose throne is in heaven is laughing. The Lord has them in derision. Then he speaks to them in his wrath, and his rage fills them with terror. I myself have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Let me announce the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. This day have I begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall crush them with an iron rod and shatter them like a piece of pottery. And now you kings be wise, be warned you rulers of the earth. Submit to the Lord with fear and with, trim with trembling bow before him. Lest he be angry and you perish for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happier are they all who take refuge in him. And then our second appointed psalm is Psalm 85. And if you're using your Book of Common Prayer, Psalm 85 can be found on page 708. You have been gracious to your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortune of Jacob. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people and blotted out all their sins. You have withdrawn all your fury and turned yourself from your wrathful indignation. Restore us then, O God, our Savior. Let your anger depart from us. 
Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you prolong your anger from age to age? Will you not give us life again that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord is saying, for he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. Truly, his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and trust have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. And now we will say our pointed gospel reading for Christmas morning. And the reading comes from the, the gospel of John. We're going to be in John chapter 3, verse 31 through 36. So John chapter 3, verses 31 through 36. <clears throat> A reading from the Gospel of John. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks about earthly things. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, yet no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this, that God is true. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has placed all things in his hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but must endure God's wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we will turn um, to page 91, and we will say the Magnificat, or the Song of Mary, which can be found at the bottom of page 91. Um, and if you remember, this is actually part of our gospel reading this past Sunday, um, part of the visitation of Mary and her cousin Elizabeth. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he, had, he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now, turning to page 96, we'll say uh, the, Ap the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now together we'll say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And continuing with form prayer A, or prayer form A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now, since it is still Saturday, we will say our collect for Saturday. <clears throat> Uh, and that's on page 99, sorry. <laughs> Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And... Now is the time in our morning prayer um, to offer up our prayers and, and intercessions um, and our thanksgivings. Um, so you're welcome to pause the video to think about them now. Um, you're welcome to put them in the chat uh, so that we can be praying for you um, in there, but also know that we are praying for you and that God knows whatever is on your heart, what is ever on your mind. Um, I know I, I personally pray for everyone on this Christmas day um, that you have joy and you know God's joy today. And I know um, Christmas and the holidays, is, for some, it can be a really hard time. Um, maybe you aren't with your friends or family that you want to be around or um, you're remembering people that we've lost, whether this year or years past, um, we dearly miss those people over Christmas um, and other holidays, but especially this time of year. So I pray for you all, wherever you may be, whatever emotions you might be feeling on this day, good and hard and sad. Let's pray that God wraps us all in his love. Pray for especially people who are sick, who are lonely on this day, for people who don't have shelter on this day, who are hungry. Pray for people who are trying to have a better life for themselves, their families, their friends. God, we just remember why this holiday is so important, and it's because of you. It's because of your love. And we pray that our lives, that in our lives we may reflect your love as we are made to be and that as we are called to be. And we ask that we are able to do that today and always. And we ask this all in your name. Amen. Now turning to page 101, we'll say the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives. 
by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Now, the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So friends, Merry Christmas. Have a blessed, blessed day. Um, and as always, we are praying for you here at Christ Church, wherever you are, whether in Ponte Vedra Beach, in Florida, throughout the country, throughout the world. Um, we are praying for you. We send you our love. Um, and I just hope that you have um, just a great day. So Merry Christmas, all. You are all such a blessing to me.